showcase uh, one of our most beautiful villa on North Island. And before we continue, I'd um, like to inform everyone, if you have any question, please feel free to, to share it in the, in the chat box and we will answer it after, after the tour. So we have two tours today, we have the tour of the villa, and after the villa tour, we're going to take you to a tour de Spain with our environmental, environmental specialist, Dominic, who will share with more information about our conservation project and about the tortoise living on the island. Before I get on the tour, um, I would like to say a special greeting to all the amazing women on the call today. Happy Women's Day uh, to you all. And I hope you're having a great, great day, a great afternoon, a great evening. So all the best. Um, I can hear some echoes. So if maybe you can put the mic on mute. Perfect. All right, let's start. Allow me to turn my camera real quick. We are right now in the living space um, of the, one of our beachfront villa. So North Island is um, one of the 42 um, uh, granitic island in the Seychelles. Uh, it's part of the inner island uh, in the Seychelles uh, of a size of uh, 2.01, uh, sorry, 2.01 kilometers square, around 201 hectare size of the island. Uh, we have the highest point of the island is 180 meter. And we feature with only 11 exclusive private uh, villas with uh, 10 villas, 450 square meters. Um, and one villa is slightly bigger with 750. And today we are one in, in one of our beachfront villa. So all our beachfront villa has two room. Uh, we have a study room and a main, main bedroom. The study room can convert into a second bedroom. So if you have kids um, or if there's two couple, I would like to stay to share in one villa, we can accommodate um, in one villa. So we are in our main bedroom right now, have such uh, amazing view of the beach. So all our villa uh, face, uh, face the beach, so east side of the island. So in the morning you have quite an amazing sunrise if you are early, early, uh, early bird. Okay, have a nice, Clothes room right here for all the amazing clothes. And from here we have our safe and some other, other amenities. So each villas we have uh, a private phone that we give all our guests uh, and uh, iPad with uh, um, guest information on it. Basically the phone is for the guests to use if they're outside of the villa and they would like to order something or get in touch with their butler they can reach out uh, on the villa phone through um, to WhatsApp or any other uh, messages system on the phone. So here's our um, in bathroom, uh, it's quite spacey. And uh, one of my favorite spots in the villa is the rainfall shower, uh, which is amazing. It's quite open space, um, but although the surrounding of the villa is quite private, so when you're inside your villa, um, anyone from outside will not see you feel super private and exclusive. Okay, I hope everyone's enjoying the tour. I'm gonna take you to the second bedroom, the study. Okay, so I'm kind of lucky today um, for the team to set this special villa for me and I'm considering to stay over tonight. <laughs> All right. Here's our study room. So if it's only a couple, this is the normal setup. But if there, if there will be a family in the room, we'll convert the room into a second bedroom, or we can set up a big um, king size bed. You can have two couple sharing uh, one villa. You have your own closet here and you have your outside shower. So the second bedroom do not have a bath um, as, a, as a main bedroom, it has an outdoor shower. Okay. Some lovely fruits. <laughs> Each villa has their own pantry and stock with a mini bar and the butler um, can cook your breakfast or the chef can come um, in your villa and prepare your favorite meal. We, uh, we can offer in villa barbecue as well. Uh, the chef can come in and prepare your nice evening uh, barbecue. 
So that's our villa. Um, today we're in villa number one, so a bit closer to the main area, uh, to the main activity center. I would like to show you quickly our beautiful beach and the granitic mountain of the island, and then we can uh, jump to a few questions. I'm pretty sure some of you right now are considering to, to book your flight to come to Seychelles to North Island. Please do. I do have availability if you wish to fly in tomorrow or tonight, please do. So this is our main beach. So it's connecting from all our villa in the front. It's quite a long beach, so on, uh, around 40 meters um, right from the, from the villa. And you have a very nice view of the mountain. As you can see the weather, it's stunning today. Blue sky, um, amazing, amazing weather today. A little bit hot, um, but that's what uh, all our travelers are looking for when they travel to Seychelles. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this little tour of our villa. Um, I open the floor for any question and we can answer for, uh, for five to 10 minutes and then we can move to uh, our next spot, which will be the environmental uh, center. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, yes, how do I open up so I can see you bigger on my screen? I mean, that picture or whatever video that you're doing. You just need to pin, uh, if you pin uh, the, the video, then it, it should be the full. Uh, oh, okay, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Got, it. <laughs> Got it now. Perfect. And we also, just to uh, confirm, we are, we, have, we are recording the two today and we will share. Um, so if anyone would like to view it again, um, you have a chance to view it again as well. So we have a first question and, and uh, it's, what is the best season to come to North Island? Uh, thank you. Um, uh, when it's come to the traveling to Seychelles in general, um, the best time, if you would like to have just relax and do not do any activities and quite being isolated in your villa, June, July is quite a nice time. <laughs> it's, it's very windy. Um, uh, but the sea condition is a little bit choppy than, than, than usual. But if you like to be more active and go out for diving, fishing, March, April, May is a great time, and October, November as well is a great time to visit the island as well. Great. And what are the main activities on the island? So being a conservation island, we offer um, environmental work um, too with our local guide on the island. You can go for a hike. Um, we have three hiking points on the island, which is quite amazing and uh, quite energetic as well, with a stunning view. And if you are a fan of water activities, we have a selection for diving uh, from um, um, offering a diving course uh, for beginner course up to advanced dive course and snorkeling trip uh, on the boat or from shore, we can host as well. And if you're keen to go for a drop of fishing to uh, game fishing to catch some bigger fish such as tuna, selfish, we can organize it as well on the island. We have our own activity center, uh, meaning we don't, uh, we, we offer all our activities private as well. We don't offer group activities. So if you come uh, with your family in one villa, any activities that you're going to do on the island will be just you and the instructor or the captain or the guide. Thank you. And what type of cuisine does the resort cater to? So, um, uh, first of all, the Seychelles cuisine, very specialized in the Seychelles cuisine. And uh, Seychelles cuisine is a infusion mix of uh, European and Indian, a little bit of African together. And uh, our chef on the island is from uh, various countries. We have chef from uh, Indonesia and uh, India and uh, Seychelles as well. And they specialize in Asian cuisine and uh, again, Indian cuisine and also uh, European cuisine as well. And don't forget the African cuisine. Sounds delicious. And how, how can we reach the island? 
So there's two ways to reach the island. Um, um, uh, one way is by helicopter, which is 15 minutes away from the main island. So when you arrive in Seychelles, you arrive on the island uh, Mahe. And uh, for Mahe, we, we organize uh, helicopter transfer uh, from Mahe to North. And if you're not a big fan of helicopter, we can organize to charter private boat, either yacht or a speedboat uh, to ensure that you can reach the island. By boat, you can take up to uh, 40 to one hour, depending on the sea condition. Uh, and the other one is, uh, we don't see some wall on the villa. Uh, so what happens when it rains? We don't see some, sorry, can you repeat the question one more we time? Don't, we don't see walls on the villa. There is no walls, right? Okay. Okay, yes. So the main, the, the main, the two main uh, room is closed uh, with a glass door. And during the open space, as you can see behind, we have a drop down blind. So whenever it's heavy rain, we drop the blind and you can have a quite a comfortable atmosphere within the lounge. But in the main bedroom, it's uh, really closed and the room is uh, air conditioning. So some guests who like to switch on the AC, they, they feel free to do it. Some guests like to sleep with open door as well, and they can do that as well. Okay, any other question? Yeah, uh, someone said you said it was very hot today, that is? Yes, indeed, today was quite, it, it is quite hot, it's around 30 degrees uh, today. And uh, normally during March and April is one of the uh, hottest time of the year. And the maximum you can get is uh, 32 uh, on average, uh, but uh, on a normal day, it will get to 28, 29, uh, and in the evening, very rarely will go below 28. But today is such a splendid um, weather today. Great. And for how long has North Island been in operation? The so North Island has been in operation uh, since 2003. And uh, since then, uh, in 1997, the island was inquired by uh, um, Wilderness Safari, which um, uh, was basically the, the creation of North Island. And in, since 2003, we've been in operation. Great. And are water sports uh, possible too, such as skiing or diving? Can you repeat your question one more sure. time? Are water sports possible mm -hmm. too, such as skiing or diving? Okay, so um, uh, water sports, uh, as mentioned, we have uh, snorkeling, you can do snorkeling, fishing, um, diving and sunset cruise. And also you can do surfing like uh, non-motorized activities like kayaking, stand-up paddleboard, uh, body surfing, stand-up surfing, uh, and all of this can be done from the water activities. And are there any spa facilities? Yes, we do. Um, uh, we do have a spa with two rooms. We have a total of uh, uh, four therapists on the island and we have a yoga instructor as well. And we offer spa in the, private, in the, in the privacy of your villa or in the, in the spa room as well. Apart from the spa, we have a gym, um, which is quite amazing. Uh, it's basically on the hill that I just showcased. Um, I, I believe it's one of the most beautiful gym with a view that I've ever been. Um, and, and that's the place to be in the morning around eight o'clock if you would like to do a, a yoga session or even a bit earlier as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can see a comment from Yen. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, hi Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? It is, it is a beautiful, a beautiful place, Rebecca. Um, I, I really highly recommend to to visit North Island. Um, uh, it's one of the uh, most unique gem on the uh, in the Seychelles, basically. Um, very nice spot, and uh, we have hosted uh, different kind, different guests um, around the globe, and uh, every single guest who stay with us uh, have a wonderful time. And it's very important if you if you if you're in love with with the nature with conservation, this is a place to be. Okay, is there any other question before we move to? There is a last one. Where uh, do okay. most of your guests come from? 
Um, so most of our guests uh, come pretty much from European guests and uh, also American um, uh, travelers. Um, um, and, and that's the main two, I would say, uh, common guests to, to, to North Ireland. But we've welcomed guests from around the globe, from Middle East, uh, from Africa, from Asia. Um, but most common is from Europe and uh, American. And how many so, guests can you host at a time? Okay, so each our villa we can take, uh, if there'll be two couples, so we can take four villas, uh, four, sorry, uh, four couple, four people per villa. And uh, that will be um, around 42, um, I guess, on a full occupancy if, if you are taking the whole island privately. And that's uh, a max we can, we can uh, host on the island. Okay, I think that's it for the villa part. Um, there is, a, is. A, 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 yeah, another comment from Jan saying that it's basically yes. a luxury Robinson Crusoe experience. It is, it is. It's basically a barefoot luxury experience when, when you visit North Island. Um, we, if you come by boat, uh, we don't have... Uh, we don't have a jetty on the island, so we do all our loading and offloading uh, in, uh, uh, in a dinghy. So you have this kind of rustic Robinson Cruise feeling. All right, so right now I'm gonna drive to our environmental center and we're gonna meet with uh, Dominic, our environmental specialist. Uh, we share some information about our conservation plan on the island. And we're gonna show you some of our most beautiful little baby tortoises on the island as well. Allow me to change the camera. All right. So this little house, I'd like to show you before I continue my journey. It's one of the original building on the island, a little hut. So back in the days, North Island used to be a coconut plantation and the farmers used to use uh, the little house to store their goods inside. Um, since the beginning of the uh, development of the resort, we didn't break it down. We just keep on fixing it every now and then as a little monument on the island. So on my right side, as you can see from afar, we have our kids' playground area. So we do host kids as well. So if there's any guests with kids, so we do host kids on the island and have a selections of kids' activities that they can uh, take part in. Okay. Here we are at the environmental center. Um, have a big voice right there. Please allow me to introduce you with Dominic. Uh, Dominic, uh, our environmental specialist. Hi there. Hi, my name is Dominic. I'm the environment manager on the island. Welcome to the environment center and please follow me inside into, the, uh, into our tortoise nursery. So here we have a few of our little ones, little baby tortoise. Ooh, sorry guys, we're invading your space today. <laughs> right, so here's at the end of the day for them, so they're getting prepared to go to sleep soon. So here are our, our youngest uh, babies that we have on the island, on the island currently. Uh, so these are indeed the Aldabra uh, giant tortoises, endemic to the Seychelles and the only remaining uh, tortoises that can be found within the in the island, inner island, uh, Indian islands. Oh, oh this one got flipped upside down. <laughs> <laughs> there were a few other species within the Indian Ocean, but unfortunately, a lot of them have gone ex extinct. Uh, the Aldaba giant tortoise is the only one uh, to survive today. Cute. So these are the babies, the juveniles uh, that we have. And uh, they can live up to 150 years. Currently, we have a big boy on the island. Uh, his name is Brutus. 
and he's estimated to be around 80 years old, if not a little bit more than that, we assume. Yeah. So how many totals we have on the island in total? So in total, we are sitting on around 100 individuals now. Uh, when people first came back to North Island in uh, 1997, there are only three boys left on the island. And over the years, we've introduced more and more tortoises until today, we're close to a hundred. Wow. Stunning. So the babies we have in here live uh, with us for about four to five years mm -hmm. until they're about the size of a coconut where they're then adopted uh, by our guests and then released out uh, into the, uh, back into nature. Uh, this is purely for their own safety uh, because there's predators around uh, a little bit of human activity that might disturb them. So until that we get them uh, to a decent size and then they're released again. So these one, we're gonna release it soon, right? Very soon. So these ones are about four years old. These three, this one, that one, and that one over there. Also. Okay, nice. For example, for reference, that one there is just a year old. Just one year old, the little one. Oh, sorry, buddy, for scaring you. <laughs> so if you came to adopt uh your own tortoise, please feel free to join us on North Island and you can adopt your own tortoise. We have quite a few ready to be adopted from the pond, two, four, five of them. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Dominic, can you please share with us some more information about North Island Conservation Project? Absolutely. So um, if you don't know, so the North Island uh, Conservation Project is based on the uh, Noah's Ark uh, concept, which is very straightforward. Basically, um, uh, North Island being the Noah's Ark itself, being the ship itself, um, serving as a as a rehabilitated area uh, for the introduction of endemic species that are currently on the critically endangered list uh, that can be then promoted um, away from that status. Uh, North Island is one of the most, one of the most heavily uh, impacted uh, islands within the Seychelles because of past human activity. Um, it was a coconut plantation in the past. When, uh, when the first settlers arrived, they basically uh, cleaned the island of all its uh, natural flora and fauna to make space for the coconut uh, plantation business. Uh, that have that had major impacts on the ecosystem of the island, um, where um, all native life, uh, all the native life that could be found on North Island was eradicated. So the conservation project on North Island is to revert uh, that process, that uh, damage that was done by humans, um, and promote uh, endemic Seychelles life again within North Island itself. Thank you very much for sharing. All right, please allow us to show you our beautiful environmental center, um, the space, the place where you can learn a lot about our conservation program and other projects that we are um, doing on the island. Please, Dominic, take us around. <laughs> um, lot of beautiful uh, little displays for you here. Uh, one of the main topics we come across with um, whenever guests come to North Island, the main topics we often uh, get asked about is the sea turtles. Yes, we have sea turtles that nest on North Island. Um, in the world, there are only seven species of sea turtles, very few compared to other animals. For example, cats and dogs that has hundreds of different species. Sea turtles is only seven. Uh, and in the Seychelles, we have only two of those uh, that nest uh, on our beaches. North Island has both of them, which is very, very special. Uh, the majority of the other inner islands found within the Seychelles only has one or the other species nesting on the island. Uh, North Island is quite special because we have both. We have the hawksbill turtle uh, represented by its uh, skull here. And we have the green turtle, this one right here on the opposite side. The green turtle to be the head of its beacon yes, and the hawk's bill. So yeah. a, few, uh, a few characteristics regarding the uh, sea turtles in terms of their difference, not super, but quite different in some aspects. Hawk's bill turtles gets their name for having a hawk-like bill, as you can see here, somewhat like a bird beak, uh, while the green turtle has a oval roundish head. 
uh, the green turtle being significantly larger than the hawksbill turtle itself. So a heavy hawksbill female could be around 80 to 70 kilos, while a, uh, adult, a very heavy adult uh, green turtle can be up to 150 kilos. So quite large um, in, in size. Um, the green turtle also only lays during the night or the hawksbill lays only during the day. So if you're interested in seeing uh, sea turtles during the day, the best time to come to North Island is between uh, September, starting in December, September, that's the season, that's where the season begins for hawksbill turtles and ends somewhere in March. So we're now currently at the end of the season for, uh, for hawksbills. Uh, but for the nighttime, um, green turtles, that's when green turtles come to play. Uh, they only nest during the night and their season is all year round, but they do taper off in October, November, November December, and June, uh, June, July being the peak season where we're getting a lot of green turtles coming to nest. Uh, this is very good for us because it means we have baby um, hatchlings, uh, sea turtle hatchlings all year round. Yeah. As both species are alternating each other, um, we constantly have nest hatchlings uh, on our beaches almost almost every day. All right. If you would like to see some of our live uh, um, turtle baby turtle hatchling, please stay tuned on our Instagram page, uh, Leaves of North, uh, and uh, we, we we share many of uh, stories and, and live video um, of the the little baby turtle hatchling. All right. So another really interesting topic uh, is the coco de mer. So you might have heard of it before. So the coco de mer, right here. It's an endemic palm in the Seychelles, and it is known to be the largest nut in the world and heaviest nut also. Uh, currently, we have about 11 of these palms growing on our island, and we've actually received 30 more that we plan, uh, plan to plant around the island very, very soon. Uh, they're quite important. They're a, a national plant uh, to the Seychelles, one of the most imp important plants to the Seychelles, to be honest. Uh, because they are also categorized as a critically endangered species, um, and they take a long, long time to uh, grow. They produce about one leaf a year and could take almost 30 years for this farm uh, to grow into an adult. Uh, and that is a longer process to start producing the seeds, which is about five years for it to fully form and drop again. So that's why they're uh, considered a critically endangered species because of how long it takes for their um, for their species to grow into adults and start producing their own baby again. Right. All right. Thank you very very much, Dominic, uh, for this educational Absolutely. talk. Um, uh, we are now open for any any questions. So please. Hey, let me hold it like this. Fine. So uh, one question is how old was the little baby that we saw in the very beginning? So the smallest one we have uh, within the small section is about less than a month now. So we found it quite recently. Um, when, we, uh, when we do patrols around the island, we keep track of the different nests that are laid by the tortoises um, and do regular checks on them. That's when we often find the tortoise hatchlings being um, leaving the nest. So a few of them are less than a month now, a few weeks actually. Okay. okay. Um, then there is, can we different male from female? At a very young age, we actually cannot. Um, it's only after 20 to 25 years where they start um, developing, we call them, we call it uh, sexual dimorphisms. That's when they, after 20 years is when we start noticing them. Um, for example, males are usually the larger of the two. Uh, females have longer claws on their hind legs, which are used for digging. Males have longer tails. And also males have a concave belly um, that stops them from falling when they're mating. So at a very young age, we actually can't. It's only after 20 to 25 years that we are able to differentiate male to female. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the breed? So they're called Aldabra giant tortoises. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 
Another question is, uh, what is the main diet for the, the tortoise? The tortoises, so they actually, our babies only uh, get served, well, get served, uh, the, oh, they only uh, get served the, the foods found on the island. So it's mainly a diet of fruits um, and uh, water spinach, to be honest. So breadfruit, mangoes, golden apples, for example. Yeah. Okay. Quite ex ex exotic tropical uh, yeah. diet, eh? Nice. <laughs> they, have they actually have a guava tree right in the middle of their aquarium yeah. that is currently in season, dropping guava, guava fruits mm -hmm. for them to eat, which is perfect. Perfect. Um, uh, thank you very much, Dominic. Um, if there's any other question, uh, thank you everyone for uh, attending our two today and uh, for joining us um, to showcase our beautiful villa, um, uh, beautiful islands. And uh, I look forward to welcome uh, our viewers in North Island. Uh, please, please feel free to reach out to us. And a big thank you to the small world for hosting uh, the two uh, today. Thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you, you. Nick. Bye bye. Thank you. You're